Hi, I'm Jody Duncan, AIFD, and I'm your 2013 Mayish Design Star. February is upon us now, so it's time to take a look at this romantic month and all the wonderful product that Mayish has. I've gotten a phone call from a really good friend of mine who's an architect, and he's going to pop the question to his fiance very, very soon. He wanted to create an atmosphere that was uh, sexy but romantic, but he's a guy, so we've got to have a little bit of masculinity. So um, after talking to him, I thought, what can we do that's really special and amazing for him? I chose these UCI containers, the silver metallic. Uh, it's actually the wedge container, and I absolutely love it. The structure started with some cherry blossoms, and just to repeat the element that's in the container, we used stainless steel cable ties, which I love. These are just the six inch ones uh, from the hardware store that I adore. So you'll see that as I begin the armature, they're sprinkled all the way throughout to hold the structure together. And then I came back uh, with some of the pink Duke Protea, which are fantastic, and also the pink Flamingo uh, Calamoys which I love. Mixed in a little tulips because it is springtime after all. It is Valentine's Day. So we've got to have some of that too. And then the cherry blossoms. So all the pink really work together, but because of the structure and the zip ties and the containers, it's got a little bit of a masculine edge. So I think it's a great combination for my architect friend and uh, his fiance. So he's thinking about popping the question. I'm already thinking about the big day. I wanted to explore what could this boutonniere look like for his wedding? What might it be? Um, I want it to be evocative of the actual pop the question, will you marry me evening? I wanted to pull that into the wedding day as well. So I've got a couple of things that I did and I wanted to bring the zip ties even into the boutonnieres. So here's a couple of boutonniere ideas that I think would be perfect. We're repeating the elements from the night of the big proposal, just deconstructing a few of the pink Duke Protea, a little bit of aluminum wire, and then our stainless steel cable ties. I wanted to repeat the element of the container, and uh, so I've got a little bit of silver wire from Oasis, just wad that up, and it's just like Silly Putty, if you're old enough to remember Silly Putty. And we're going to thread those right down in between and pull them out the bottom. And then we're going to come back and glue dot some of these on with the floral adhesive, just put tiny little pieces there. I'm going to take a zip tie and put right on this boutonniere. That way he can remember the night they proposed. She'll remember the night that they proposed because in all of the boutonnieres I'm going to use zip tie. Fantastic boutonniere. Another thought that we could do, I do know the bride likes to grow succulents and so all we've done here is taken a few pieces and twisted this around to secure it. Glue dashes or the U glue strips and I'm just going to put that right on there and then stick the succulent right to it. So I'm going to slip that right around the back, which is going to help secure it. I love when a decorative element is also a mechanic. That's really exciting to me. Also, we can take some of the Brasilia Berry and essentially deconstruct it, pull off some of those pieces. Gone are the days of a big rose boutonniere. If you're taking a ro big rose and making that a boutonniere, stop. We have options, Mayish has beautiful product. There's no reason to be sticking a full-size rose on a man's lapel. Shouldn't be done. Not when you have all these wonderful textures and amazing products. And to give it an extra trip twist, I'm gonna get some help again from my needle nose pliers. So I'm gonna pull off just a couple yards of aluminum wire. So that's going to be safe and secure and just give a tiny bit of texture for the lapel. I think he'll remember the night he asked her to say I do if he wears this down the aisle. But I don't know what he'll pick. We'll just have to see. Pull out a little more. 
this one and do something a little bit elongated. So we've already got an armature here, just very evocative of the night that he asked her to say, I do. So we're gonna slide this wonderful mini cymbidium right down on here. Want our mechanics to be very secure and flawless. The nice thing is the mechanic is also a decorative element, so it gives us a little extra room to be creative. Back to the needle nose pliers, just to give it some twist. I don't know which you'll pick, but we give them lots of choices. The best thing about the product at Mayish is you have choices, you have options, things that are different and wonderful that aren't seen all the time, that give you that wow factor. From your proposal to your big day, Mayish has got it covered. So whether it's a destination event or something in your hometown, be sure to check out all of the wonderful products for February and the upcoming wedding season.